you and this entire society are useless in this country. You are archaic. You also say that life is a constant process of relating. You're talking about uh, Yes. What do you mean by that? Well, for instance, when I see a Japanese martial artist, you know, I can see the advantage and I can see that it's a magic. In that sense, I'm relating to them. And man, it is really, you know, relating to them. And relating to the world. But this philosophy that you have doesn't really go against much of what it's taught in martial arts by normal instructors? Well, I, I, I guess because most of them, they are so dark on stubborn, you know? Yes. I mean, uh, well, 200 years ago, I am taught like this, therefore, you know, yeah. if you maintain that type of attitude, mm -hmm. I mean, you had it. Yeah. I mean, you will be still back I mean, you will never grow because, I mean, learning is, is, is discovery. It's a constant discovery. Yeah. We just, if we follow the old method, it is a continuous repetition of what is being handed down to the You said that at age 18 in 1940 you returned to the United States. You came back to where, Los Angeles? Where, where now? 1958, you came back to Los Angeles? Hello, Mr. Lee. My name's Braithwaite. Hello, Mr. Braithwaite. I've come to speak to you about a matter of great importance. Have some tea? Yes, indeed. Mr. Lee, I've come to speak to you about a tournament of martial arts. A tournament to which you've already received an invitation. Specifically, a tournament organized by Mr. Han. Han's tournament. I know, I know, I know. But we'd very much like you to attend that particular tournament, Mr. Lee. We, Mr. Brady. <laughs> Offended my family, and you have offended the Shaolin Temple. I'll say it the Chinese way. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> okay.